Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Virgo. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay. All right, let's have a look. I'm hearing I'm letting you go or I'm letting it go, something like that. Now, I don't know who's letting go of who, but we will see. So we have overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. I feel like um, Virgo, you're trying to find an answer to something. Some of you maybe live in a place where it's like, or you maybe want to go to a place where it's sunny because I don't know there's something here about a place that it's they're showing me a sunny place like like on the beach or like I'm seeing sun a lot or summer okay so there could be something about summer 2023 or summer 2022 that was significant for you but Virgo I think that right now where you are in your life something seems like a challenge and you're trying hard to overcome it but it's like you 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 kind of feel like it's one thing after another and sometimes it's just it's getting to you okay and you're not liking it so another thing that i'm getting for you virgo is that Spirit is telling you to not give up despite the fact that this obstacle may be seeming big. This obstacle may be seeming like, okay, it's hard for me to overcome. What if it's just something on your mind? You know, sometimes we're, we're making a problem. Um, we're really making something a problem that isn't a problem. Okay, so we are making it more big than it needs to be. And... Spirit here is telling you that there is some form of confirmation here that you're going to find the answer to your question, whatever has been on your mind. Okay, I'm also seeing desert passage. Okay, true, uh, sorry, true. Trust that there's a divine plan. So yeah, I, I think they here the message for you is to keep it moving, really. And everything happens for a reason. The obstacle is there so you can overcome it. And yes, believe me that you will be able to overcome that obstacle, okay? Because with that uh, breaking trail energy, I feel like you have been really, really trying to find a solution to something or some of you may even have had a hectic routine or some of you maybe need to... Um, adjust your routine okay all right Because I keep getting a message here of, you know, in regards to somebody who's trying and trying and they will, they will find a way is what I'm getting. Okay.
some of you some of you may also be trying to fix the situation No, I shuffle. I'm hearing give things time. Give things time. Last shuffle. Some of you have recently decided to detach from something. Mm, okay. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Swords to the Queen of Wands. I was when I was pre-shuffling, I did see a lot of Queen of Wands, and um, I also saw uh, which one was that? Six of Wands. So I think, and Six of Wands is here too. See, so I think here that something in the past was different. Okay, in right now is just not seeming the same. And it really hurts when we're attached to something and previously it was something else. Now it's something else. And now you're like, okay, now I have to wrap my head around the fact that the situation turned out like this. So to me, it looks like in the past, you were very determined to work towards something. Um, and you knew, you knew in your head that this is something that's making me happy. And this is where my happiness is. But right now, things are seeming tough for you. And it's leading you to a place where you feel like you have no choice but to focus on other things such as your money and other situations in your life because for some of you you may also be trying to just uh, distract yourself okay Now, I do see financial stability here because in your future, you're getting nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, and queen of pentacles. There's a lot of financial stability. And I'm seeing three kings in your reading. Uh, Virgo, we have king of swords, we have king of pentacles, and we also have king of wands. So I do think here that there is a lot of uh, masculine energy and a lot of action-oriented energy wanting to fix things. For now, at the present moment, you're, it's, it's like something is tiring you out to a point that you, you're tired of defending yourself against the situation. And you know that you got to walk away, but it's hard to walk away, okay? It's, I'm, I'm hearing one last time. So some of you maybe want to give it a go one last time and see where things are going to end up. But... It does look like it's it's becoming tough for you okay it's really testing your patience whatever the current situation is okay somebody friend zoned another person and they were like you know what this is all that i want maybe you loved somebody and they were showing up as somebody who's non-serious and you try to prove a point there but it gets very uh draining to do that so it, it does look like right now you're you're trying your best to at least hold on to the connection in a way that the, because you feel like there's friendship but you're just holding on to it because you're attached okay if you really were to ask yourself is it good for me the answer would be no because your challenge here is that you're not seeming confident in something and you keep doing it but you you and then you keep telling yourself that i'm gonna do it but deep down inside you know it's not for you and it's really talking about a particular situation in your life that has drained your energy with the nine of wands and the six of swords it, it's like you're mentally tapping out of the situation if i'm going to be honest with you 
What's the Six of Swords? Actually, tell me. Show me that energy here with the King of Swords and the Six of Swords. Somebody wasn't giving 100% while you were. And that is what caused the problem apparently because you were more invested into it than your person was and it, it does look like there was a choice in love that was made but somebody started to act up they were like you know what i have doubts that it's gonna work out and you were like you know what but you said this, but you said that. Now the roles can be reversed. There's really an energy here of high hopes with somebody. And they kind of led you on or they did something here too. Like it was really disappointing. They started to hold back. Now, if I look at your person's energy, I'm gonna get to it in a bit. I'm gonna tell you something. Show me something about their future energy emperor Ooh, so for a lot of you uh virgo you you may be uh quitting a job and you may be looking for something new in your life because you're so tired there's something here that looks like a dead end situation you're tired and you know what sometimes it's a sign from the universe that you need to stop trying in and moving your energy in the wrong direction and change your course really Because the Emperor, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, that is a lot of stability. Okay. With the Nine of Pentacles, Emperor, some of you may have your own business or you have a business idea or there's something in regards to your money that you do feel like exploring and i feel like you will be exploring that okay um and something may turn out to be a great success really there is i don't know how many times i will say this but i feel like next month and you know next couple of months virgo your finances are going to change a lot a lot okay Knight of Wands. What is something that makes you feel good in this world where, you know, there's this energy of monotony in our everyday life? What is something that excites you? What is something that really floats your boat? That is where you need to invest your time, money, energy into. And specifically something about your finances. And I'm being told to tell you again and again that finances are looking really good now some of you may even connect with a person who is good with their finances i'm just saying now let's get to your person's energy we're getting pages so it's two of pentacles now this person watches your social media and with the two of pentacles they're wanting to send you a message but one thing i'm going to warn you when it comes to this person virgo is that they're still not coming in with a serious energy they want to know what's up with you and they spy on you okay three of pentacles yeah this person's gonna initiate something they're gonna definitely take action towards you but the tower i don't like it it's almost like somebody comes in your life and you're like oh the grand return but then they're like oh nothing has changed so be very careful of people returning into your life or you investing into something that doesn't even grow okay be very mindful of that now by that i don't mean that you have to go back that is of course your own choice 
show me what i need to see for virgo your extended is going to be linked below if you're interested virgo okay we have great fortune <laughs> some of you could be 26 or 26 could be your birthday or two or six could be significant numbers for you okay somebody feels like their finances are really bad right now but they won't be because there's high honor energy some of you are gonna get promoted at work or right now there's this energy of poverty okay sadness feeling like there's not enough of anything in your life sometimes that energy can also represent hopelessness but with the high honor and great fortune good things are coming your way but why are you showing up as somebody who's still lacking hope courthouse for some of you there could be a legal settlement that's going to go in your favor show me what i need to see for virgo please so we have the moon card tower it a cups something is um emotionally and mentally disturbing you virgo and if it is then this is a time for you to withdraw especially because if you are having a hard time making sense of something i'm just saying okay all right let's see what is your guided message to close off this reading think of your question and we will see what the answer is if you don't have a question then just take it as a guided message okay all right let's see what do we have for virgo please big happy changes so you are manifesting big happy changes into your life okay you may need to be very patient and not give up i don't see this card very often but when i do this card comes in with a great energy okay so there's a lot of good stuff to expect for you okay that's about it virgo those were the messages that showed up for you i hope that you were open to receive these messages and i hope that you got something out of the reading the extended is going to be linked in the description box below take care and bye bye, bye, -bye.